the reason why I ended up bailing this woman out was because while I was reading the paper, I saw that they said she had no friends, okay, she was seemingly flat broke, and I like the fact that she had a bail in the first place due to the fact that, I mean, she's a community member, well known, well respected, all right, she should have gotten an R award, there should have never been a bail for $5,000, okay? As far as I know, she didn't have a criminal record because if she did, within the past five days of her being in the newspaper or four days, okay, they would have uh, mentioned it, you know? So, uh, I mean, the Lord came upon me in my heart to try and do something, and that was to go bail her out. And that's what I went and did. Money you can make, you know what I mean? Justice, you know, must prevail, you know? Money you can make. I'm not a rich guy. I don't have money like that. You know what I mean? I scraped it up myself. But I'll tell you right now, it was worth every penny of it. You know what I mean? And people might say, you know, what happens if this happened or that happened? I didn't do it for the money. I did it for the fact that it was wrong. And I'm, I might, people might think that, that they're insignificant in life, that they're a little nobody. You know what I mean? That you can't do nothing. But if this proves that anybody can do something for somebody, and, and, you know, get results. And I look forward to the results that come out when this guy Boutier's record and his emails come out. That's what I'm waiting for, okay? So, um, uh, yeah, yeah. It's the David and Goliath with this situation, okay?